Hi everyone, so welcome back to my vlog channel. I know this is a different setup to my other videos, but I have spoken about the fact that I want to add something more to this channel. I know my life isn't interesting enough to be daily vlogging, and so I want to start incorporating some other videos, stories, I've spoken about that, but I also want to just sit down, turn on the camera, and talk about something. Talk about a topic or a question or something like that. And sometimes these videos will be lighthearted, and other times I'll talk about real stuff, stuff that bothers me, things that I have experienced throughout my life. So this is one of those videos. I have been told quite a lot throughout my life since I was a kid, basically, that apparently I'm not Mexican enough. So I want to talk about that because I have been told that I don't look Mexican enough, I don't sound Mexican enough, and that I'm just not Mexican enough. And now let me give you some background information. I am a Mexican American, and I'm really proud that I'm Mexican American. I was born from two Mexican parents here in San Diego, so that's why I'm a Mexican American. I spent 10 years of my life living in Tijuana. All my family still lives there, so I go there quite often. And I was raised with Mexican values, strict Mexican values. So if you're Mexican, you can you can feel me there. That parents are mostly very strict in the Mexican culture. But apparently, I'm not Mexican enough. Go figure. So one of the things I have been told quite a lot is that I don't look Mexican. And I know I can see it sort of, but in my eyes, I look Mexican. Yes, I have really fair skin. I know you can probably you can't probably tell here, but if you look at a family photo of mine, I just stand out like a sore thumb because I am a lot more pale than any other of my cousins and aunts. And then I have my dad's side of the family to thank for that, but I am particularly proud of the skin I was born. I am very fair and have really dark features, which makes me look even fairer. Is that a word? Fair? I look just more pale because of my dark hair and really fair skin. But um, yeah, I've been told that I don't look Mexican enough. And the thing that becomes frustrating is when people ask you like, oh, what are you? What nationality are you? And I just reply, Mexican. I, my, both of my parents are Mexican. And people just dismiss the fact, or they challenge me, and they try to be like, oh, are you sure? Like, you don't look Mexican. Like, all right, maybe you have some, some Italian blood in there or some like Middle Eastern like Pakistani blood or whatever. So when people challenge me I'm just like what? <laughs> I am Mexican. My mom is Mexican. My dad is Mexican. My grandparents are Mexican. I am Mexican. Sorry to disappoint you. And it's just frustrating because I've heard that so many years from people that know me, pe just strangers because I guess they're interested in knowing what I am, which is weird and odd and ah, oh, it's just it's kind of weird. But yeah, apparently I don't look Mexican enough because I don't have tan skin. I feel like there's not one person that embodies the way Mexicans look because Mexicans look so different. We come in all different shapes and sizes and facial features and stuff like that. So there's not one person or one celebrity or anyone that just I think of like, oh, that's how Mexicans look like. And another thing that I've been told is apparently I don't sound Mexican enough because I don't have an accent when I speak English. I feel like people are just disappointed that I don't speak like this, like a freaking Taco Bell commercial. <laughs> Yes, those are stereotypes. Not everyone speaks like that. My mom sort of, but that's because English is not her forte. She did not study English. She has just picked it up here and there from TV and stuff like that. I was lucky enough that my dad really immersed my brother and I into the English language. We watched TV in English, we watched movies in English, we heard nothing but music in English. So from a very young age, English was a language that was very, very present in my life. And my parents have always established this rule. In the house, when we speak to one another, nothing but Spanish. Outside of the house, English. And any entertainment, English. Just so we can learn English and really just perfect that. <laughs> and I have been basically learning English since I was maybe three, when I started speaking, two or three years old. So it's taken quite a long time. I am 25, so you can imagine all those years learning English. And it's just, it sucks when I hear people say, oh, well, I, never, I didn't know you were Mexican. You don't have an accent. Not everyone has to have an accent. And I've been told this by people in middle school and high school and college, 
postgraduate, it's just like, it gets old. It gets really old. I understand that I don't have a really thick accent. I know that I do because I can hear it and I can recognize and compare it to other people, especially Americans. But yeah, I don't have a thick accent. What can I do? What can I say? I spent a lot of time and I put a lot of effort into learning this language. I have mastered it. And apparently that does not make me Mexican enough. Another thing that I have been told is that I don't, I'm not Mexican enough. I feel like people have this stereotype of Mexicans that they're like really loud, really eccentric, they're extroverts, this and that. And I remember middle school and high school, I just never fit in with the Mexicans. I was too shy, too quiet, too introverted, too awkward to be in the Mexican crowd. So I got excluded a lot by my peers. Go figure. I ended up just being in my little awkward Mexican group with other Mexicans that were kind of excluded as well. So, I mean, I, at least I did find my little crowd, but it's just, it's sad when people of your own culture just like exclude you like that. And this happened to me so many times, even by my family. It's just like, I'm not Mexican enough uh, because I was born in the US, because <laughs> I speak English, because I like music and English. It's just like, what do I have to do to prove myself? And I have, throughout the years, I have learned to, you know what, just ignore all of that. Just live my life, say, fuck it, I don't need your approval. But at the same time, as much as I push that, those thoughts away and try to not let it bother me so much, it does bother me when it comes from a Mexican person. I don't care if an American person tells me that I don't look Mexican enough because most likely that person has not been across the country, doesn't know the extent of the Mexican culture and the Mexican people, like an actual Mexican person. So it's just frustrating, but I can shake it off. And I know this happens to a lot of people of different nationalities. I had a friend in high school that was in my tennis team who is a Chinese American and her Chinese family thought she was way too Americanized and like, so it's something that's common throughout cultures, but it, it always hurts more when it's their own culture doubting you and like challenging you. Like, are you Mexican enough? Let's do it. Let's just start a game show. Are you Mexican enough? And I'll prove to you that I am, but I just, it's something that bothers me. At one point in my life, I thought that all of this was going to stop because people are adults and they're educated and they would be more accepting. But I have come to realize that they're not. They still base facts on stereotypes or they base it on themselves. So apparently I don't fit that mold. So therefore I'm not blank. I'm not Mexican. I'm not whatever. So it's sad, but it's something that I have to like just live with and <laughs> not let it bother me as much. But you know, what I just wanted to talk about because I know this is a thing. Sometimes these videos will be rambling, other times I will present a solution. I guess the only solution would be to stop basing facts on stereotypes, maybe. People come in all different shapes, sizes, skin color, whatever, and Mexico is one of those countries. We are very, very diverse. Just because I don't fit the mold of the stereotype doesn't mean I'm not Mexican. And for Mexicans that dismiss others or challenge other Mexicans, I would just recommend them to stop because it does eventually bother them and kind of hurt them. So I would stop doing that, accept people for who they are. I've never told anyone, especially a Mexican, that they're not Mexican enough. That sounds, oh my god, I, I cannot do that at all. <laughs> I just accept people for who they are. So I feel I want people to get that message. Accept people for who they are, especially if they don't fit your mold, your ideal mold. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully next time I won't be so rambly, but you never know. I'm just gonna sit down and turn on the camera. So if you also identify with some of these feelings or just relate to this, let me know in the comments below. If you like these videos, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you have any other topic suggestions, I would love, love to get those. That way I can just like sit down, have the topic in mind and just start talking. I like talking. Even though I'm an introvert, I like talking in front of a camera in an empty room. Makes me feel, I don't know, 
I don't know where I'm trying to get to, but hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed to this channel, please take the moment to do so by clicking right over here or waiting at the end of the video. And I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Don't forget to leave your topic suggestions in the comments below because I want to film more of these videos. I have an opinion on a lot of things, so make sure to leave them down below and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye! I'm almost done with my makeup. I look like a ghost.